Chapter 38 The altar for burning animal sacrifices also was constructed of acacia wood. It was seven and a half feet square at the top and four and one half feet high. There were four horns, one at each of the four corners, all of one piece with the rest. This altar was overlaid with bronze. Then he made all the bronze utensils to be used with the altar, the ash buckets, shovels, basins, meat hooks, and fire pans. Next he made a bronze grating that rested on a ledge about halfway down into the firebox. Four rings were cast for each side of the grating to support the carrying poles. The carrying poles themselves were made of acacia wood and were overlaid with bronze. These poles were inserted into the rings at the side of the altar. The altar was hollow and was made from planks. The bronze wash basin and its bronze pedestal were cast from bronze mirrors donated by the women who served at the entrance of the tabernacle. Then he constructed the courtyard. The south wall was 150 feet long. It consisted of curtains made of fine linen. There were twenty posts, each with its own bronze base, and there were silver hooks and rods to hold up the curtains. The north wall was also 150 feet long, with twenty bronze posts and bases, and with silver hooks and rods. The west end was 75 feet wide. The walls were made from curtains supported by ten posts and bases, and with silver hooks and rods. The east end was also 75 feet wide. The courtyard entrance was on the east side, flanked by two curtains. The curtain on the right side was twenty-two and a half feet long, and was supported by three posts set into three bases. The curtain on the left side was also twenty-two and a half feet long, and was supported by three posts set into three bases. All the curtains used in the courtyard walls were made of fine linen. Each post had a bronze base, and all the hooks and rods were silver. The tops of the posts were overlaid with silver, and the rods to hold up the curtains were solid silver. The curtain that covered the entrance to the courtyard was made of fine linen cloth and embroidered with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. It was thirty feet long and seven and a half feet high, just like the curtains of the courtyard walls. It was supported by four posts set into four bronze bases. The tops of the posts were overlaid with silver, and the hooks and rods were also made of silver. All the tent pegs used in the tabernacle and courtyard were made of bronze. Here is an inventory of the materials used in building the tabernacle of the covenant. Moses directed the Levites to compile the figures, and Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest, served as recorder. Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, was in charge of the whole project, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. He was assisted by Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, a craftsman expert at engraving, designing, and embroidering blue, purple, and scarlet yarn on fine linen cloth. The people brought gifts of gold totaling about 2,200 pounds, all of which was used throughout the tabernacle. The amount of silver that was given was about 7,545 pounds. It came from the tax of one-fifth of an ounce of silver collected from each of those registered in the census. This included all the men who were twenty years old or older, 603,550 in all. The 100 bases for the frames of the sanctuary walls and for the posts supporting the inner curtain required 7,500 pounds of silver, about 75 pounds for each base. The rest of the silver, about 45 pounds, was used to make the rods and hooks and to overlay the tops of the posts. The people also brought 5,310 pounds of bronze, which was used for casting the bases for the post at the entrance to the tabernacle, and for the bronze altar with its bronze grating and altar utensils. Bronze was also used to make the bases for the posts that supported the curtains around the courtyard, the bases for the curtain at the entrance of the courtyard, and all the tent pegs used to hold the curtains of the courtyard in place.